Welcome. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Brandon. And my name is Heidi and we're here with another video for you guys. Yeah, we're going to be recreating three different foods from Disney parks or Disney movies because we're missing the parks uh, so much because of the quarantine and stuff. So we're going to take you along through all of those recipes. Up first, we are making Tiana's man catching beignets from Princess and the Frog because they take the longest. Yeah, they're also at Disneyland. We've never been there though. So this is kind of like a double parks and movie type of thing. So we're going to take you through that, all the stuff you need. We're going to leave uh, the recipe down below so you can check that out if you want to. Uh, we'll see how we do here. Yeah. <laughs> first things first, we're going to need some warm water. We're going to put that with the yeast and sugar. So we've got a half a cup of sugar going into our warm water. And then we're going to get this dry yeast here. Two and a quarter teaspoons of dry yeast. Look at this little fancy thing. Pampered chef. And then it says to stir that all together and then let's sit for five minutes. Okay, next we're going to do two eggs. Look at the cracks. Well done. Look at Heidi's pizza shirt because she's cooking today. Heidi loves pizza if you didn't know. Yeah, I do. And then a cup of evaporated milk. Who knows what that is? <laughs> you know, you gotta level it out. You gotta level it out. Perfect. Look at that. Ticket. Nice. And then one tablespoon. Teaspoon. Oh, teaspoon. Just kidding. It's hard to tell in this little gadget. Salt. Right in the bowl, and then we mix that all together. Very nice. Okay, next we're going to add this mixture with the yeast in it to the eggs. Very nice. Looks great. Look at that. Look at that. No I'll get that out of your way. Now we've got to add in three cups of bread flour. <laughs> Mix this all up so it's all combined in there. So we're going to add a quarter cup of this shortening here. that, put that in there and mix it up. So next you add a half a cup of bread flour and then mix it up and you keep doing that until the dough starts really looking like dough. Looking like Princess Tiana out here at Tiana's place mixing it up. So we don't have a dough hook because we don't have a stand-up mixer. So look at the dough is going right up the side of the mixers because we're using the wrong thing. But it looks really thick right now. And we're not even like close to And we heaven. still have a cup of flour left. So we're like, we're not even close to done with the flour. It's crazy. So we got all six and a half cups of bread flour in there and this is where <laughs> we're at. So after this, it says to hand knead the dough if you don't have a uh, like Bosch like bread thing, which we don't have. Clearly. So we are going to use our hands to mix the dough. So Heidi's kneading the dough now. It's very sticky. It's a very sticky dough. It's a bread dough, which um, we also realized this is going to double in size and it makes 50 beignets. So everyone come on over. So come on over and get some beignets. Comment down below if you want one of these beignets. <laughs> We'll bring them over. Um, but we're gonna knead this dough and then we're gonna let it set and rise for two hours in a greased bowl covered with a towel in a warm place. So we got the dough here in a greased bowl, all full of oil. We got a damp towel here that Heidi's got. We're gonna put it over here and let the dough rest for two hours and then come back to it. But in the meantime, we're gonna make something else. So while we wait for the dough to rise and set, we are gonna make the gray stuff from Beauty and the Beast and Be Our Guest Restaurant at Magic Kingdom. So this is like another double. We've never ate there, but I'm excited to try the gray stuff because I've heard it's a bit delicious. Okay, so first up, you're gonna mix your vanilla pudding, one package, with one and a half cups of milk. One whole package, Good. and then look at that milk. Because in Ontario, Canada, our milk comes in bags. Yep, she's bagged. Bag milk. And then what are we going to do, Heidi, once it's all in there? We're going to whisk it up. Whisk it up. And after this is mixed, we're going to put it in the fridge for 10 minutes to let it kind of set a bit. So we got Milk's favorite cookie. We're going to put 50 Oreos in our blender. And then we're going to mix it up so it's like crumbs. Okay, so you're going to get your mixture out of the fridge that we put in to cool. And then you're going to add in your Oreo crumbs. 
In the movie, they make it seem like it looks gross because it's like, you know what I mean? And he's like, oh no, trust the dishes, like it's good. This looks good. It smells good too. It smells good. Be our guest restaurant. We'll have to eat there on our next trip. I've heard mixed reviews, but I'm sure it's great. Beauty and the Beast themed. So next, we'll do the Cool Whip. You're gonna need one cup. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool Whip, so I'm just gonna use the spoon. Okay. All right, so we added in the Cool Whip. It's a cup. And we're gonna mix it all up. That's what we're looking at right now. There it is. Heidi's mixing it good. Then you're gonna take your chocolate pudding mix. And you're gonna get two tablespoons of it. We'll be a bit generous, right, with those tablespoons? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Never hurt, you know? Oh, pretty good. That was pretty good. Me. And then you gotta mix it all up. So we added one more spoon of Cool Whip to see what that does to it, if it makes it more gray. Looking. Okay, ready? Here we go. Tag team. <laughs> wow. Put in the fresh guy. Yeah, I'm fresh. <laughs> fresh off the bench. So, we're just going to clean this whisk off and then we're going to put it in the fridge for an hour to let it set. One hour later. This is what it looks like after an hour. We're now just going to put it in a Ziploc bag and then cut the tip and then make like a little swirl thing out on the plate and then we're going to put some sprinkles on the top. Now I know what it looks like. Wow, are you a chef? A bit. We are going to put a picture of our gray stuff and then the gray stuff from Beauty and the Beast or Be Our Guest Restaurant right here. So you can see this side by side. How does it look? Let us know in the comments how it looks compared to the real one from Beauty and the Beast. So I'm going to try it first. We have our Mickey spoons here. What does it taste like? Mm, tastes good. It tastes like Oreo pudding. Nice, which is pretty much what it is. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Well, I love sugar, <laughs> so it's great for me. But yeah, I think it's turned out really, really well. I've never been to be our guest, so we said we'll have to go next time, but I'm sure it tastes like this and it tastes really, really good. So up next, we're gonna make a Dole Whip straight from Disney. We're doing this because it's my favorite dessert. And I think Brandon really likes it too. Yeah, we had a really good memory. If you haven't seen that, you can check out our Disney food vlog. It's the first thing. Yes. We'll leave that link here. Right there. It's it's this one. Are you sure? Yeah. Up there and down below. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyhow, so for the Dole Whip, you're going to need frozen pineapple. You're going to need two cups of it. So you're going to measure out one cup. You're going to put it in a blender. <laughs> then you're going to need one large scoop one of big old scoop vanilla ice cream see how it's always the muscle drops <laughs> yeah doing them. here i am is this a big scoop or more yeah we can see maybe can a bit more yeah and then half a cup of pineapple juice look at that goodness dole whip is so good let us know down below in the comments if you like a dole whip mm -hmm. so this one's quick and easy that's all the ingredients you need and now we're going to blend it up <laughs> timer for the dough. <laughs> Avengers timer. So intense. So Disney must have some really tough blenders because ours is not working. Sweet. So we're pulling out this baby blender. Okay, so we put the we put all the stuff in here and yeah, dollop's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> to get the consistency of dollop it's hard. So we're trying to do two different blenders. It kind of shot up at us a little bit because <laughs> yeah. we're trying to push it down and try to get it really blended. So we're going to now put it back in the big blender and see if we can get it the consistency it should be. There we go. What are we doing now? We're taking the whole whip out of the blender and we're going to put it in the freezer for a bit. Just because it's a bit liquidy to see if that helps. Yeah, so we don't want to pipe it out in the bowl when it's liquidy and it's just going to be a mess. I'm gonna put it in there and we will show you once we take it out of the freezer. Okay, <laughs> we uh, waited about five minutes, but we're just gonna get to it. We're not gonna take some of that liquidy part in. And we got this little bowl here because we thought this would be kind of dull whip, like citrusy. And then Heidi's got it in a bag just like we did the gray stuff. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. It's still liquidy. Like if you want it to be perfect, perfect, you might want to keep it in a bit longer. We just have to get to our beignets, which you would have been seeing earlier. So Heidi's just going to cut it here. And then we're going to try to make the little swirl that Disney's known for on their Dole Whip. And it's sinking a bit. That little signature swirl. Ah, it's falling. There it is. Oh, my Dole head. Whip. We'll <laughs> give it a taste in a second. We're just going to take a picture. And then we're going to put them right here. So which Dole Whip looks better? <laughs> Probably the park ones. Which one tastes better? We will see right now. So we're going to give it a taste here. It's good. It's really sour because there's a lot of pineapple juice to mix it up. I think we could have put a little bit more ice cream, but I think it's good. It's but sour, very pineapple. -y. Very pineapple. -y. So we maybe need more vanilla. Our ratio wasn't great because we're kind of just going with the flow. No, but, but our whole thing is to do this so you guys can have ideas and maybe bring a little Disney to your home. Yeah. Okay, we're going back to our beignets now. We let the dough sit, so we're gonna unravel it. It's nice and it's pretty good. Thick and thick and dense. Um, and then we have our oil cooking in the back, so it's heating up. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put flour down, and then you're not mixing it into the flour, you're just laying it on top, and you're going to put more flour on top, and then roll it out. So we're going to try. They said it's supposed to be Ooh. very sticky. It is very sticky. Grab the bowl from you. Thank you. Oh, it feels nice. Cool. Okay, so you put more flour on top. Now we're going to get this thing going here. Good. Wow. It feels nice. So it says to get it to a quarter inch thick. And then we're going to cut it into some squares. So we got it at about a quarter inch. Um, looks pretty good actually. Looks really good. And then we're going to use a pizza cutter to cut it up into different square pieces. Heidi hates using a pizza cutter for pizza. So this is a rare occasion. This is literally probably the first time she's ever used a pizza cutter. And it's weird, her favorite food is pizza. And she doesn't use a pizza cutter. No, fork and knife kind of go. Okay, so should I go? How big do we want to make it? Yeah, so like it says this serves 50 beignets. We're not going to make 50 beignets, so I think that's pretty good. Like that, right? Yeah. This is how we cut it. We have 52 beignets. Some of them are little. So like I said before, we're not going to do 50. We ended up doing 50. So some of them will be smaller, but we're going to wait for this oil to heat up. And then what are we going to do? And then we're going to take them, place them nicely into the oil, and they're going to crisp up. It'd be so good. The recipe said watch the amazingness happen. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. So we're starting to grab these little guys and bring them over to the oil. We already have our test one in there. And we're just gonna do all the little ones first in case it doesn't turn out well. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our racks here with paper towel on them. So that after you take them out, you let them kind of dry off and let the oil drip off. And then you serve them warm. The first ones are coming out of the oil and they're airy and the color's good. <laughs> They look so good. We're Tiana would be proud so far. So when you're making Disneyland beignets, you gotta listen to this. Magic happens from Disneyland. We've never seen it, but we love this this uh, soundtrack. Last six in the fryer, and then you'll get to see how they look. So this is how you want them to look, kind of golden brown. We cook them for like two minutes on each side, but you can see how your oils do it and how they should be based on your own preference. So we're just putting the honey on, it's like liquid honey, drizzled across the whole beignet, and then we're gonna load it with powdered sugar, just like Tiana does, fully covered in powdered sugar. Nice. I think they look really good. So we're gonna put a picture of our beignets right here, and then some New Orleans Tiana's beignets right here. Which one looks better? I think they look pretty good. I'm sure Tiana's taste great. Let's see how ours tastes. Keep in mind, we've never had a beignet from Disneyland or one ever, so let's see how it goes. Mm. Are they good? Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Is the honey good on it? We weren't sure about the honey, but Tiana does the honey. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the honey in it, but it's like perfect. And then the powdered sugar, it just, it just feels good in your mouth, you know? So they're supposed to be light and fluffy on the inside with like little air bubbles and ours have that which is great. We watched a few videos of some people making them and they didn't turn out like that. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted a beignet. They're not in the Mickey heads, but they're so good. So here are all of our beignets. We made so many. 
that we are going to sell them outside of our house to make money for our next Disney trip. Yeah. No, just kidding. We're oh, not going to do that. That'd be a good idea, though. We're going to go give them to some family and stuff so they can enjoy them. What was your favorite thing that we made? The beignets, for sure. They turned out, like, really well. They turned out really good. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, we've never had one, but I think they turned yeah. out really good. I also loved the gray stuff. Yeah, that was Because I like, like, Oreo cookies and pudding and stuff. The Dole Whip was kind of the hardest. I thought this would be the hardest. Yeah. But to get that Dole Whip consistency Which, was kind of hard. We called my mom and she said she had the suggestion of using, like, a hand mixer instead of a blender. So it's maybe we'll try it again and see. Yeah, so comment down below what your favorite thing that we made was. Make sure you're following us at SunnyTimes2 on Instagram. We'll put that right here because we share like our pin stuff on there, updates there. Uh, like this video if you want to, subscribe if you're new, um, and thank you for watching. Yeah, and remember, it's always sunny.